Ew. How do you simplify rational exponents? That's like disgusting and stuff. Hi, I'm Jimmy. I'm here to show you how to simplify rational exponents. Now, every time you see the word rational, that implies fractions. And so fractions aren't the most pleasant to deal with in the world, but as long as you know your fraction rules, you're going to be okay. So here's a quick example for you. Suppose you want to simplify x to the 1 fourth times x to the 1 half. Now, because you're multiplying the same base with different exponents, you're actually going to be adding the two. So your job is to find out what 1 fourth plus 1 half is. Now, because they are unlike fractions, you basically have to treat this as a standard adding fraction problem. So what you do is, as long as you're comfortable with the uh, fraction mathematics, just find the least common denominator of 4 and 2, which, as you know, is 4. Now, the first fraction, the first denominator stays the same, so that means the first numerator stays the same as well. Now, 2, though, has to multiply by 2 to give me 4, so if I multiply the bottom by 2, I have to multiply the top by 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 2 has to give me 2 as well. Now, adding these two together, 1 fourth plus 2 fourths is going to give me 3 quarters. So that means at the very, very end, x to the 1 fourth times x to the 1 half is going to give me x to the 3 fourths power. Now, if they give you fractions with the same denominator, that's even better. So here's a brief illustration of that. Suppose you have x to the 3 fifths over x to the 1 fifth. Now, if they're right on top of each other at the same base, you can subtract the exponents. And because of the same denominator, that's even better. So you will have x to the 3 fifths minus 1 fifth. Now, because you know 3 fifths minus 1 fifth is 2 fifths, that's going to be your final result. So, I'm Jimmy, and this has been a glimpse on how to simplify rational exponents.